Hello guys, welcome to session 5 of FA Practicals. So, in this session, we will cover this current problem, which is a truss. If you notice, in previous problem, we have all the lengths in meters. In this problem, the lengths are in mm, load is in kilonewton, and the Young's model is in gigapascal. As we already discussed, Abacus follows a certain sets for units, uh, that is SI meter or SI mm. If we have to put the units of length in mm then we have to follow the mega pascal for Young's modulus and newton for load let's start with this problem create a part this is truss 2d planner while element put length in mm is 750 so you go forward 1500 let's draw it so this is a start point so length is 750 clear so 0 750 comma y0 okay center it properly then next point is at 500 mm downward so let's create a point first so select point at the coordinate that is x is 0 and y is minus 500 so you get the point here just connect it using line this point and this geometry is created check the dimensions 500 vertical and horizontally 750 that's it create a path close this and create a wire this is done go to properties Create property mechanical elastic so in this model this is become us to phi 0.2 this is first thing okay so create a section now cross section beam continue Cross sectional area is given that is 0.1 meter square. So either you put all values in mm or all values in meter. So we are going for mm now. So this will become 1 into 10 raised to 5 mm square. Right? So section is created. Let's assign this section to a model. Select entire model from viewport, click on done, select the section that we created. So section is assigned and accordingly properties also assigned to that model. Go to assembly, create assembly dependent. Okay, so it is fixed and orange. Go to step, create a step that is static, linear perturbation, continue. So we are applying load during this step. okay then go to mesh first select element type click on done plus element okay then see them one by one first we'll see this one by number we only need one element for one section Select this one and then mesh it. Okay, so two elements are created. Check it query mesh. Then. Okay, total number of node 1, 2, 3, and total number of element 1 and 2. Element type is also mesh. 
let's go for loading condition that is boundary conditions we are having two in fix and one in loaded vertically downward that is 5000 newton let's do it first of all we will fix the ends using encasted select this one shift and then select another point click on ok select encasted ok so this both and are fixed now we have to apply load on this point vertically downward so go to create load concentrated force continue select that particular point ok now we want vertically downward in y that is second x so negative 5000 acting downward this is a model let's go for job create so this is problem 2 dash 1 continue ok check the data for the simple problems you won't find any error but when you go for real time problems then these steps is important ok check is completed submit your job for analysis monitor it for the static problem it only takes a particular second few seconds to complete the job but in well done problem like uh, friction state building it takes 18 hours 3 days I have a few problems ready with me I'll show you ok so check completed result so you all know how to plot it now so this is done displacement at different node you can plot using this option using particular node then go for field output select unique node and then select particular node and just plot it you get the values ok that's it this is done stresses are there and reaction forces are also there if you want a particular node then go for OBD field output in that go for unique model for the particular node. That's it. Thanks for watching.